And it was like unforgettable. Like you know, I remember. I remember relatively vividly the uh, like when we had a number one single. Alex Turner is an English singer, guitarist, songwriter, musician, and composer. He's best known for being the lead vocalist, guitarist, and the main songwriter of the English rock band called Arctic Monkeys. He's also recorded with his side project, Last Shadow Puppets, and as a solo artist. The debut album of Arctic Monkeys, Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not, became the fastest selling debut album in British history. Alex's lyricism, ranging from kitchen sink realism to surrealist wordplay, has been widely praised. He's won seven Brit Awards, an Ivor Novella Award, and a Mercury Prize. We've done before. Could have gone longer, I think. Seems to, well, he sort of couldn't, actually, at the time, but a great deal had probably changed by the time, the second time we came. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Alexander David Turner, but is also known as Alex Turner. He was born January 6, 1986 in Sheffield, England, making him age 35 at the time of this production. He stands 1.77 meters or 5 feet 9 inches tall. When at college, his English teacher, Steve Baker, described Alex as quite reserved, incredibly laid back, a little bit different. Too shy at first, he initially didn't want to be the lead singer of the band. The original lead singer was Glenn Jones, a fellow student at Stocksbridge High. Alex isn't a fan of the band's first hit single, I Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor, despite it being their first number one hit and the song that launched them into stardom. The frontman doesn't think much of it. He evidently said, it's a bit crap, the words are rubbish, it could be a big song, but I'd hate to be just known for that song because it's crap. Despite being an indie idol, Alex Turner loves the oldies. His favorite singer is Frank Sinatra. The Arctic Monkeys owe a lot of their success to the world of social media, known as one of the first bands to go viral as a result of MySpace. However, what you might not know is that the group never had their own profiles, never created their own page, and were completely unaware of the site altogether until the band started getting big. It was actually a fan who created the page on their behalf. Since then, Turner has discussed his negative feelings towards social media, and to this day, he has no personal social media profiles. As a youngster, Alex Turner had dated Joanna Bennett from his college days. Following their breakup, he became involved in a four-year relationship with writer Alexa Chung. He was also once engaged to American actress Ariel Vandenberg, which was later called off. In 2015, he began dating model Taylor Bagley. Turner broke up with Taylor in 2018. He's currently in a relationship with French singer Louise Vernoux. It'll certainly be different to the last time I were out, which were, I think I'd be more concerned if I was sitting here and thinking it, it wasn't going to mm. be something, you know. He's the only child of Penny and David Turner. His mother taught German and his father taught physics and music at Raw Marsh Community School. He took piano lessons till the age of eight. Since his father was a member of big bands, Turner was exposed to different kinds of music at home. He listened to records by The Beatles, Frank Sinatra, The Carpenters, the Beach Boys and the Eagles. Turner attended Stocksbridge High School. He excelled in sports, particularly basketball. His teachers remember him as a quiet boy, bright and clever, but laid back in studies. He met Matt Helders in his primary school and became friends. The duo met Andy Nicholson at secondary school, and the three teenagers listened to rap artists such as Wu-Tang Clan, Cypress Hill, Dr. Dre, Outkast, and Roots Manuva. In 2001, Turner's parents bought him a guitar, following which he started writing songs using a bass guitar and some microphones. Soon he was deep into music and got serious about making a career in the field. In 2002, while still in high school, Turner formed an indie rock band called Arctic Monkeys with his friends Andy Nicholson, Glenn Jones, and Matt Helders. They later added a classmate, Jamie Cook. 
When Glenn left the band, Turner became the frontman and lyricist. They first practiced at their garages and later at an unused warehouse in Wa. After college, his parents reluctantly agreed to let him skip university for one year to pursue his musical visions. He then took up a barman's job at Sheffield Music Venue, The Boardwalk, while exploring musical avenues. During this time, Turner was drawn to guitar bands like The Hives and The White Stripes. He was also introduced to Queens of the Stone Age and The Chorale. He attended his first live musical performance in 2002 when he watched The Vines in Manchester. In 2003, he traveled to London to watch The Strokes play. In 2003, Alex Turner played seven gigs in York and Liverpool as a rhythm guitarist for the band Juden Suki. He knew its lead singer, John McClure, who had offered him the opportunity. The experience made him more confident. In August 2003, Turner recorded a demo with Juden Suki. In 2005, the Arctic Monkeys self-released their first EP, Five Minutes with Arctic Monkeys. Things picked up fast from there. In June, Domino Records offered them a recording contract, and in January 2006, their first album, Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not, was released. Their debut album became the fastest-selling album in the history of British music. About 118,000 copies were sold on the first day, and 360,000 copies by the end of the week. In 2006, a five-track EP was released. The same year, Andy Nicholson left the band and bassist Nick O'Malley replaced him. In 2007, they released the second album, Favorite Worst Nightmare. By this time, Alex Turner had started collaborating with other artists like Reverend and the Makers, Dizzy Rascal, and Tony Christie. In 2008, Turner and Miles Kane, a popular musician, released an album, The Age of the Understatement. In October 2008, Turner made his debut as a short story writer and performed a spoken word track, a choice of three, on Matt's compilation, Late Night Tales, Matt Helders. Arctic Monkeys released their third album, Humbug, in 2009. In June the same year, the band's fourth album, Suck It and See, was released. Their fifth studio album, AM, was released in 2013. Turner also collaborated with Queens of the Stone Age's sixth album, Like Clockwork, in the same year. The band released its sixth album, Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, in 2018. The extent when I was like doing the same like move every night at the same time, but uh, sometimes you know like that that would be recurring, or I'd, I'd kind of say the same thing. He's earned money through music and brand endorsements. He reportedly earned over 1.2 million dollars from the album AM in 2013. The total net worth of Alex Turner is $25 million. He currently lives in his house in East London. Alex bought this house for £1 million. He previously lived in Los Angeles. Alex Turner likely owns the following vehicles. A Cadillac CTS, A Jaguar, an Audi A5. A Rolls Royce. A Range Rover. A Ferrari.